All right, follow me into the water. But I mean, also look at the area we're fishing. This is crazy. We're at this beach with this huge tower here, some kind of power tower. But under this tower is, is all this structure. And this tide is coming in and all the fish are actually gathering around there because the bait fish are getting pushed in there. Um, and hopefully we might, we might encounter a feeding frenzy. Okay, today we are free lining at the beach. We're using live shrimp, we're walking out, and we're casting these live shrimp by the different pylons, by this different structure. It's a really deep channel right there. This is gonna be really cool. It's not often that I'm at a beach that I can wade out this far. Actually, in the west coast of Florida, they don't have much of a surf. It's actually a lot of flats like this. Wade fishing is a pretty big thing around here, and um, we have a really great opportunity to, to walk out here with some live shrimp and just free line it by these pylons. There's, there's big snook here, redfish, trout, uh, mangrove snappers. Um, pretty much anything is going to eat a live shrimp like this. So I'm excited to give this a try. We've got our light gear right here, 15 pound line, um, 20 pound leader, smaller reel. And instead of coming to the beach with big surf rods today, I'm going to be wade fishing. This is a new kind of beach for me. I haven't, I haven't done much fishing um, without huge waves. Usually when I'm beach fishing, I, I'm battling waves or I'm, I'm using big Sputnik sinkers to hold my, hold my line down. Um, but this is completely different. Uh, I'm excited to give it a try. I'm here with my friend Bushy from Fish On Channel. He's been showing us around. He's Sorry, been guys. He's been uh, teaching us how to, how to fish the local areas and he's been very helpful. Um, he's got his own channel, Fish On Channel as well. Um, and this channel, he fishes all around the Tampa area. Um, this guy catches a lot of fish. So he's been really helpful for us in showing us where to go, how to catch some fish. And uh, he's just a fun guy to fish with. Anyways, let's go fishing. to the other side of the of that pole right there mm -hmm. and you're gonna get as close as you can but not too close to that leg so it's good the to first stay leg? not the first leg you have to cast on the second leg oh out there yeah okay, so yeah. this is uh yeah that's good for snapper yeah that's good what time. we're gonna do live yep. bait there uh surfing in this side i think should Sounds be good like a plan. should be good we'll get them okay split shot because it's a little bit windy we're going to be live lining, we're going to be free lining with a little bit of a split shot here. Just so that I can cast it a little bit further, I have a little more control. Alright, follow me into the water. But I mean, also, look at the area we're fishing, this is crazy. We're at this beach with this huge tower here, some kind of power tower. But under this tower is, is all this structure. And this tide is coming in, and all the fish are actually gathering around there, because the bait fish are getting pushed in there. Um, and hopefully we might, we might encounter a feeding frenzy. All right, got my shrimp. All right, perfect live shrimp right there. Look, look what happens when I drop it in the water. jumping around. See that? Nice little snook right here. 
First time catching a snook off the beach like that. Very pretty fish. And did you see it jump right out of the water? That's so awesome. Let's hope there's more. Let's hope there's more around. The awesome part about wading is you could like be in the water with the fish. Look at this. Snook! And we're like right on the beach. We're just walking in the water, fishing this structure. All right, bye fishy. I'm trying not to get this reel in the water. Oh, look at that. Torn apart in one second. I don't know what it was. You felt it? Yeah, I felt it, but I didn't want to set the hook. Whoa! That was, whoa! That was right away and it went everywhere. Dude, that was awesome. Holy crap. That's like my third cast. Mangrove snapper. Mangrove snapper. Whoa! <gasps> Sparky Jack. <laughs> Hook to your butt. All right, Bushy's here. So I have to hunt for bait. You guys go ahead. Stay, yeah, stay a little farther because uh, the school comes and you scare them. Stay like, like here if you can. Yeah, you see a little farther because they line that area. That's their zone right there. You need the one to scare them. It's gonna scare them off. My camera was giving me some error, so I I have my secondary camera. I don't know what happened. It, it oh, happens. Good. good thing you have a second. I'm gonna try to get some bait. What's wrong with you? Can you close? Oh, How are you gonna get some bait? Uh, I have the little net, I told you. Oh, little net, yeah. okay. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm gonna go out and try to catch some bait. You go ahead and do this. Bait. Okay. So I get some nice bait. You gonna cast net from Mohara? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cast net from Mohara and I have that uh, one, uh, one fourth that we'll be able to catch this tiny minnow. Those are oh, pretty perfect. Good. All right, so I am running low on shrimp, and all I've been catching is smaller size mangrove snappers now. Um, although some of those ones that I was catching would be great dinner size ones, we're kind of looking for a bigger fish right now. So plan is get some bigger bait, put some bigger bait out for some bigger fish. I don't see any mojaras yet, but uh, I picked the net to get some of the greenbacks at least. Oh, nice. Uh, do you have your bubbler in the bucket with you? Yes, I do. Where are you gonna put this bait? I'll put it in my bucket with the bubbler. It's not perfect, but it's fixed enough to catch some bait. Okay. I guess. Let's see. He Hope. has a lot of holes, and but he catches a small bait. That's a good thing about this man. See? Whoa, Aaron! There you go. That's too big. Okay. Oh, a fat mangrove. Uh, but not fat enough, right? Yeah. Not uh, that those big ones, I think they might come on high tide. I think they're big enough. It's like what, 11? Yeah. So, you see this bait? Yeah, this is a mangrove killer too. Oh, no. It's nice. a perfect size for a mangrove. Okay, so let me let me go get my. Uh, yeah, there's the back. Uh, yeah, okay, so Bushy just caught a bunch of um, these little greenback baits with these fine mesh cast nets. Oh, nice, dude. We'll be able to catch even the tiny ones with this net. You know, that's the good thing about this net. There you go. We have bait for the whole day. Almost for everything. Whoa. Yeah, that's all we need, I guess, right? And that's your broken net? That's the broken net, <laughs> yeah. 
a, a true outdoorsman. <laughs> Perfect bait right there. Can't wait for this game back to be here. Yeah. So, what, what's the plan here, Bushy? Uh, you know, small green bags, through the nose, free lining I would prefer, but a little small, so we can we can use some small split shots just for now, then see what we catch. Yeah. yeah we can search for real big thing now. Maybe we still can do it now. Let's try to catch two, two of them. Right here? Yeah. No, no, two, two, two. Always in the last. Always in the deeper area. Right? Yeah. Right under the chin, right? No, no, under the nose I do. You can do that too, but what I do, I do under the nose. You keep them alive for longer this way. It's like, they swim free. And you don't hurt them. So, let's see. You need to do a small cast because sometimes you lose them. Right on the nose, like that. Really gently. You don't want to kill it. You want to keep it alive still so it can still swim. Nice snapper. Oh yeah. It just inhaled it. Nice, look at that. Mangrove snapper. And look at those little vampire teeth it's got. Come here. See these little vampire teeth? See those fangs? That's what will tear your bait apart. See that? Those chompers? That snapper? Yep. Cool as snow, coffee. These little, these little uh, greenbacks. Yeah, that's what they're here for. That's why I like to use what I see in there, you know. That's smart. You what you see. That's what they are after, right? Yep. Yeah. That's what they're targeting. They're gonna be keyed in on it. Oh yeah. Well, I'm in the perfect spot now. Miss it. Oh, miss it again. They're fast. Oh, I guess not. That's the downside of using this bait is it gets taken really quickly. Between this and shrimp. Oh yeah. Sean? That's a good one for the day. Look at that. That's a fatty. Ooh. And these mangrove snappers, they're very aggressive. Like, I've lost so many little bait fish already. I lose maybe two every one I catch. All right, let's put them on. Look, they're so tiny. Tiny Tim. It's time to meet your friend Mangrove Snapper. 
Oh my god. Oh yeah. Look at that one. That's another nice one. Right in the keeper size range too. Look at that. Very fun on my 5,000 size twin power here. But honestly, I could go much lower. The reason why I'm using a, a bigger reel for this is I don't want to accidentally hook a big snook and then get spooled. So I don't want to hook a big snook by accident and not have enough power. That's a nice one right here. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. So between the shrimp and the, the greenbacks, I cannot tell a difference. They're both very quick to be taken and they're also both very quick to be like bitten in half. I've caught a bunch of mangrove snapper on both, but I think the greenbacks are better because because you can go catch them yourself in a cast net. It's really easy, really quick. You just, you saw Bushy do it. He threw it once and we have enough bait for the day. Rather than buying live shrimp. So we're casting, we're casting these little bait fish right by these. Whoa! They run all over the place. Dang! Another nice snapper. Holy crap. A lot of them this size. And I say this is keeper size right here, isn't it? It looks like it's good. That's the spot right there. What is that? Oh, it's a skipjack. Skipjack eat it. Interesting. About now, the you're going to have to be careful grabbing these because skipjacks are very sharp. Skipjacks are very sharp. They have a spike at the top and at the bottom. And I've heard horror stories of people accidentally grabbing it. They not only have spikes, but they have poison in their spikes. So it really just feels horrible to get stung by one of those. Don't just grab a skipjack. That's a nice one. <laughs> Look at that snapper. That's a nice one. Look at how it fits in his mouth. One bite. That's a chunky one. See him? It's a lot lighter one too, huh? Yeah, the color? Yeah. <gasps> the second you let go, they go go nuts. Well, that was pretty much non-stop action. Like, I did not expect to find so many fish right on that one little corner right there. But like I said, live shrimp always works really well. And if you happen to find yourself at a beach where you can wade out and there's structure around, absolutely get yourself some live shrimp. Maybe use some live mullet, any kind of live bait on a free line like this and, and a light gear like this is gonna work well, so long as there's fish around.
yeah, that was a really awesome time. I ended up catching a, a, a little snook, which was surprising to me. I, I'm, I'm happy to have caught that. And a bunch of nice sized mangrove snappers. And you saw how they fought. They were jumpers, they were, they were sparky. They were really fun to catch. But like I said, this is a really great method. If you haven't tried this for yourself, I recommend you get yourself some smaller hooks like this, light leader line, split shot, get yourself some live shrimp, walk around and throw that live shrimp towards pillars and structure and rocks and underwater stuff. You might find yourself a nice fish. Anyways, I had a great time fishing here at the beach with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Here at Hey Skipper, we wanna teach you guys how to get on fish. We know that learning how to fish is not that easy. And let's face it, no one is really born knowing how to fish. So we wanna be the ones to help you get on some fish and we wanna make learning easy. Uh, we do this by filming videos like this and we also have a lot of ebooks and PDFs that I've written and put on my website, heyskipperfishing.com. We talk about what kind of baits to use, how to tie up different rigs, uh, how to fish on the pier, how to fish on the surf. There's a lot of stuff on there that I think you might be interested in. I wanna give a big shout out to my, my good friend, Bushy from Fish On Channel. He has been uh, really finding us some awesome fishing spots and showing us around. Uh, if you are in the Tampa area and you wanna learn more about where to fish here, how to fish here, what techniques, what gear, that is the channel that I watched to get myself set up to come on this trip. Um, so if, you're, if you have a vacation set to come to Tampa, watch Fish On Channel. He might be able to help you out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.